Hello, this is Butch Brown and your State Fire Marshal, and welcome to the latest edition of Chief Chat. I'm joined here today with Chad Major, who is the president of the Professional Firefighters of Louisiana, a good friend and a long-term servant of the fire service. And, and Chad, I certainly appreciate your time, but today we're highlighting some of the great things that your organization does. You know, I've just been amazed at, at how not only have y'all been able to, to bring firefighters together and protect firefighter safety and protect firefighters in these troubling times, uh, but you've also uh, create a program to raise funds that help so many children across the state of Louisiana and help the progression of our profession. Uh, I'd love for you to uh, take a moment to talk to the fire service and tell them about this fundraising campaign that I certainly support and, and think it's a great program. Sure. Well, thank you first, uh, Butch, for having us here and, and, uh, and letting us get our message out. Um, back in 2012, we, we began a campaign, a telephone campaign to, to raise funds for different things. Um, and the Professional Firefighters Association of Louisiana uh, got behind this idea and, and we moved forward with it and we established uh, an office and hired a manager and have our own employees and everything else and you know we, we were instrumental with the American Heart Association in passing the legislation that created the Burke Cobb Act which says that every high schooler before they graduate they will be trained in CPR uh, in the public schools um, but the state didn't put up any money and there wasn't any money to put up so we got involved and started giving money uh, matter of fact, we pledged thirty thousand dollars a couple of weeks ago and gave them a ten thousand dollar check at that time. I think that's like the since the legislation passed, that's the third or fourth time that, that we've given a, a ten thousand dollar check. Um, the new children's hospital is going up here in Baton Rouge uh, presently and is supposed to open sometimes uh, next mm -hmm. fall. Um, we gave a twenty-five thousand dollar donation uh, to the new children's hospital, which is affiliated with St. Jude. So, and I know personally some friends. Uh, that had children that were sick, had cancer, and things that were, you know, having to go back and forth to Memphis. Uh, we sponsor med camps, which is uh, for children with cerebral palsy and other other uh, afflictions, and they get to go to a camp. We sponsor Camp I'm Still Me, which is the burn camp, and uh, for children from 6 to 18 years old, mm -hmm. that happens every June, and we sponsor sending children there. And as a matter of fact, there uh, next summer there'll be two burn camps, Camp I'm Still Me. And there's no name for it. They can allow the children to name it, uh, but it's going to happen down in the Robert area. Oh, wow. Uh, and sponsor children. Because most of the children that go there um, are from South Louisiana. Out of the 70 or so, I think 47 are from South Louisiana. So um, so there'll be two burn camps, and we're going to sponsor both of them. We always have. Um, back in June, we gave $17,500 for the burn camp. Um, you know, we're, we're involved in a lot of things, and we give money to... Uh, Women's Hospital Foundation, we supported them in the past uh, for those uh, females who have breast cancer, etc. Um, we have concerts. Um, often we are involved, we, we're the primary sponsor of the Company Officer Leadership Program along with FETI. Um, we put, you know, the funds there to, to provide for that for the fire service, which is for all of the fire service in the state, which uh, they bring speakers in and people that uh, had some experiences or, mm -hmm. or, or experts in the field and, and, and bring that knowledge here to the state of Louisiana and to the fire departments that, that, that attend. So, I mean, just whatever we can do in the community right. is what we do. And the success of our, uh, our program, our, our telephone program, you know, our fundraising program allows us to do that. And a lot of times we, uh, you know, people are, are unaware of it, so therefore they think it's something that's a scam or it's wrong and it's not, it's us. And, and when we call, you know, we get your information and, and, and if Mr. or Mrs. Smith pledge, you know, that they wish to support it, we never ask for, you know, mm -hmm. any, any credit cards or anything. That's what we do. Everything we do is on our honor system. We'll send the packet in the mail with the boosted decals and everything, and then in turn that person will write a check or whatever the case may be and send it back to us. Um, or even the concert tickets. Those go straight to the person that says, hey, yeah, I would like to participate. We send them to them on an honor system and, and then they'll send their payment back to us. But we would never ask, right. uh, we, we never ask for their credit card information or anything like that. There are those out there that do and those are you know, illeg you right. know not legitimate things. So, Chad, this fundraising program that the Professional Firefighters of Louisiana sponsors raises money uh, that provides services to children and adults across this whole state, no matter where you live. All 64 parishes. That, that, that's, that I think, is the most important part of this program, because we don't have that in Louisiana today. Uh, and, and I think anybody who would get a call uh, from your organization, the, the, the fact check is, 
You're not asking for a credit card. You're not asking for, for them to provide money over the phone. They make a pledge and they communicate by mail. That's what lets people know it's the legitimate professional firefighters of Louisiana. That is correct. We, we, our staff, we, you know, under the law, we, we hire our own manager. We hire our own people to make those, you know, to make the calls. Um, and we have our own office that's located here in Baton Rouge. And those people make those calls. We don't use a third party and a solicitator or anything like that because Again, that's not that's not by the law. Um, and what we do is we'll call the whole state, but we service the whole state. Although uh, there are 56 departments that have locals that are represented by the Professional Firefighters Association of Louisiana, the things that we offer are offered to everyone. And it don't matter which district you live in out of the 660 fire districts there are in the state, there are children that are afflicted in all of those districts. Uh, those districts have the right to attend the, the company officer leadership uh, conference that we support. So no, we, there's there's no you know looking here, looking there. It's for everyone. It's for everybody. And that, and that's, that's, that's what right. we wanted. We wanted to give we wanted to give back to the community, which all fire service does. And right. you know, but we wanted to take it a step further. So the bottom line is, let's continue working together. Let's get our fire service partners across the state behind this program. And when people get a call, encourage them to participate if they can, because it's protecting people's lives and it's improving the quality of lives of our people in Louisiana. So thank you again, Chad. Thank you. Butch. Thank you.